am going to have a couple of you, if you would like to share about a book that you read last year, you're just going to talk in English. All you're going to do, anything you read, it doesn't have to be one of the books. All you're going to, hold on, hold on. All you're going to do is you're going to walk over there, you're going to grab whatever it is, and you're going to come up here and you're going to say, this is what I read, this is what it was about, and I liked it because, and then you'll put it back and sit back down. Is anyone willing to do that today? I'll have more chances than the other days. All right, so all four of you. Oh, sorry, Charity. Do the next time, okay? All four of you, go ahead and grab your item, and then come on up front and center and share about what you read. It's okay if you pick the same thing someone else does because you might have liked it for a different reason. Here. You can sit on the stool when you talk. <laughs> You guys can sit back down and hang out over here. It doesn't matter if I'm sit down. Whatever makes you happy. As long as you're not distracting. All right, go ahead, Haley. I chose the class stories last year because um, they were really funny. And, like, I like the characters. Like, um, I like the stories they made of those weird characters you make in Spanish. Okay, and did you feel like it was pretty easy to understand most of it? Yeah. Why? Um, well, because it has like um, bolded words, and then it also has like um, the English definition of it. So okay. Any particular story that was your favorite? Um, yeah, I like the, I like this one, the Corno. Um, Corno is a, is a nice and fabulous friend. Which class wrote that last year? I think we did. Yeah, yeah. Five right. yeah. B. Yeah. All right, there you go. All right, let's give Haley a round of applause. Thanks for
part. A big one. The smelly one. Oh, okay, I remember. <laughs> Here's what we're going to do. Before we do our new Spanish for the day, I'm going to have you do volleyball reading with a partner with what we wrote about last time. So there's only three sentences in the title, so it shouldn't take very long. So remember, the first partner starts out reading the Spanish sentence. Spanish sentence. The next partner is going to say what that first sentence meant in English. English sentence. And then they're going to read the next Spanish one. Spanish sentence. English, Spanish. English, Spanish. Done. Because there's only four lines there. Okay, so go by each line. And if someone is stuck, if your partner doesn't remember what a word means, can you help them? Yes. yes, please do. And then we're going to read it all together. Okay, so I don't mind if you want to get up and find a different partner. That's fine. But I'm, I need to make sure before you start, I need to make sure everyone has a partner. So go and stand by somebody, and then I will move and change people if I need to. And if you're looking for someone who lost, or maybe we'll need to do a group of three or something, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. Ooh, did it totally even? partner? Yeah. Yay, wonderful. Okay. Some of you who are like real close to other groups, like Sophie and Angel, you guys might want to move just during this activity so you're not like all yelling at each other's faces. So remember, the first person is going to read the Spanish. And then the next person is going to go English, Spanish, English, Spanish, English, Spanish, until there's nothing left to say. Okay, go. Cinco, cuatro, 
of the lie I showed last week. I'm sorry, I didn't get a chance to update it yet. Good try though, good try. Mañana es un día especial. For me, for me, thank you. Es el día favorito de Gio. Y en inglés, miércoles, en inglés. Wednesday. Sí, miércoles. Es especial mañana. Were you going to say something else, Madden? No. No? Okay. Pase miren por la ventana. Miren afuera, outside. Y piensan en el tiempo. Tiempo, weather, and time. Don't let it confuse you. Piensan en el tiempo. Hace sol? Sí o no? Sí. Sí. Está nublado? No. no. Sí. 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 Hace sol y está nublado. Hace frío? No. 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 Gracias, Nathan. Claro que no hace frío. Hace mucho calor? No. No. I say. Calor? Si. Si. La temperatura hoy. Estará. Estará means will be. Estará 79 grados. Hace calor o hace mucho calor? Calor. Hace calor. Gio puede leer mi mente. Gio es muy especial. Y es buena. No es cómico, no es especial. Es especial. No sé. Incomodo is like uncomfortable, like awkward. We'll have to look that up later. Okay. I'm going to ask you some questions about the calendar now. And you're going to answer them for me. You can look at it. That's not cheating. But not through like binoculars or anything. Just like your normal eyeballs. I'm using your glasses if you need them. Because that's important. Because I can't read it without my glasses. Okay. El mes es agosto o septiembre hoy. ¿Pase? Septiembre. ¿Qué pasa? Hoy. Hoy, hoy, hoy. Es lunes o martes. Martes. Perfecto. Hoy. Hoy, hoy. Es un día especial, sí, sí. o no? Sí. sí. Porque el voleibol empieza hoy la práctica de voleibol, Nathan. It's also special porque mi hermano cumpleaños está. Es hoy. O oh, si sí, es el cumpleaños, el cum del hermano de Nathan. Sí. Mañana. Miércoles es un día especial. Sí. 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 ¿Por qué es el día favorito de Gio? Y Gio. Isaac. Hola. Gio es un muchacho especial, sí o no? Sí. Sí. ¿Por qué Gio puede Leer mi mente. What's his special talent? Do you watch some? Read your mind. Okay, we're gonna write now. Brooklyn girl, you can't do that. 
I feel like we're gonna get seasick when we watch the video later. <laughs> we're gonna write together. If you would like to write with me, you may, but you do not need to. But what you have to do is participate when I'm asking you questions to write our sentences and make it more interesting. Because I want it to be us writing together, not just me writing, that's lame. Is una emergencia? Okay. I want you to quickly turn and talk to your neighbors about everything we talked about with the weather and calendar so it's fresh in your brain before we write together. Go. Mm, 
por qué miércoles es su día su día favorito, favorito. favorito. Es su día favorito. Y número tres. Gio <coughs> es muy talentoso. ¿Por qué puede leer la mente de señorita? Okay, I'm going to read it back to you in Espanol. You just need to track along with your eyeballs and listen. You're not like spacing out. You're like listening while I read to you and you're just like, oh, I'm getting read to. This is so fun. Yes, Nathan. Could we play number four because it's your birthday? We could, but we're running out of time. We don't have time for number four, but thank you for thinking of me. Bonus points for you. Okay, here we go. Titulo. Septiembre es especial. Número uno. Hoy es martes. Y es un día muy especial porque hay la práctica de voleibol. Dos. Mañana es el día... Whoa. Try that again. Mañana es el día más especial para Gio. Porque miércoles es su día favorito. Tres. Gio es muy talentoso. Porque puede leer la mente de señorita. All right. Oh, I'm not done yet. I will be applause, so you do your job. But thank you, thank you. Your job is you're going to read it in English. And I will clarify anything we get stuck on. We all have to read it together. And we're reading it in the order that it's in even if it sounds weird and ridiculous. Got it? Got me. All right, here we go. Ready? Title. 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 Hey, guys, you guys, you can't move on until I point to the word. You got to stay with me. I'm leading this ship. I am the captain of this ship. Ready? Yes. Here we go. Title. that in 
there. We didn't talk about that word this year yet. That means he can. We'll start with he can. He can read the Start the beginning of the sentence. Here we go with play day in English. He can read the mind of Miss Webber. Yeah. All right, we are going to play a game really quickly while we're doing an activity, but you have to listen because we only have like four minutes, three minutes before class is over. It's called Everyone Acts. So what we're going to do, you shouldn't have your stuff packed up yet. All right, what we're going to do is, first of all, I'm going to have you pass in your Spanish folders and notebooks so we can get those put away. And while you're doing that, I'm going to finish this thing. Now throw them in, pass them in. What did you say? You should pick them up. And your job is to pick them up. You're all going to stand up, and I'm going to say a sentence. And you have to somehow find a way to act that sentence out. But all of you are going to do it at the same time. So if I say, Gio es muy talentoso, you need to come up with a way that's acting out that Gio is very talented. I don't know, be creative. All right, leave on to the stage. You're going to want to zoom out on this one, probably, Brooklyn. All right, ready? Here we go. We'll start with that one. Gio es muy talentoso. I love it. Gio puede leer la mente de Señorita Lepper. Why is it exploding? <laughs> <laughs> he's literally reading it. He's got to like look at it. Okay, I like it, I like it, I like it. Oi! Es la práctica de volleyball. <laughs> Some of you should not be playing volleyball. <laughs> Mañana es miércoles. Yeah, you can make like a W, you can point at the calendar. There you go, good work, good work. One more. Miércoles es el día favorito de Gio. I don't know, something like that. All right, fantastic. Let's get to say for the more. Y una ronda de aplauso. All right. Where are you going? You may turn off the recording real quick.